I'm Natalie McNeil and you are watching She Takes on the World TV, your weekly dose of soaring inspiration and practical advice for your business and your life. Now, you probably have some nutrition and diet books on your shelf, maybe you know 100% what wheat belly is, and you've got a green juice practice that would make Chris Carr proud. But what about a digital? diet. Have you ever taken one of those? We are so caught up in our digital world, caught in a never-ending cycle of email and social media and ping, ping, ping. It's so important that we take time to disconnect once in a while. I've been on a few digital diets where I take a full week offline and it is magical. It's led to huge increases in my productivity when I return to work and my business keeps on growing without me. So what I want to do today is help you prepare for your own digital diet as well. Okay, so step one is just to prepare. Most of us just can't resist temptation. So it's important to start easing yourself into it by maybe using an app or tool like Rescue Time where you can start blocking what sites you are visiting and when. Another thing that you could do is delete your apps that are on your phone for Facebook and Twitter. And you can even try putting your laptop away somewhere like in the trunk of your car so that you're really not tempted. I know that sounds pretty extreme, but we are so addicted to our digital worlds. So sometimes we need to take extreme steps in order to give ourselves that freedom that we are craving. Okay, on to step two. You've got to start planning some non-digital activities and try to plan these not by Googling them. <laughs> Get out a pen and paper and think about some things that you could do totally offline. So for me, that usually includes trying a new recipe, taking a trip somewhere, even if it's just a day trip to somewhere in a, a nearby city, you don't even have to go very far. I like to plan yoga classes and read books like the ones on paper and skim through magazines. And every once in a while, I like to take a trip to a Scandinavian steam spa as well, which I absolutely love. So if you've got one of those near you, I absolutely recommend it. Okay, so the last step for you is to set an autoresponder and make sure people know ahead of time that you're going to be offline. Your clients need to know, you need to give them a little bit of a heads up just so that they don't think you have fallen off the face of the planet. A digital diet can really help you feel more freedom, get back to what matters, amp your creativity, boost your productivity. There are so many benefits. Just don't be tempted to tweet about it or post about it on Instagram because that defeats the purpose. All right, so my actionable for you this month is to pick just one day that you are gonna disconnect and completely get out of your digital world. Just one day. So I'm not asking for a lot here. I believe everything happens in baby steps and you might have to build yourself up to taking that full week-long digital sabbatical. Do you know somebody who needs to go on a digital diet? I would love for you to share this video with them and subscribe to my channel here on YouTube. And for more soaring inspiration and practical advice for your business and your life, come on over to shetakesontheworld.com and subscribe for updates there. Thank you so much for watching this episode of She Takes on the World TV, and I will see you next time. Some of the most successful people that I know are so successful because they know how to leverage everything they've got. 